Setting the time of day on the TGN host timer is as easy to do as setting a regular digital clock. When you insert the 9 volt battery into the timer, you will see that the hours are blinking. Simply set the hours to the correct time of day, such as 10 a.m. When the hours are set correctly, press the next button, which is the right arrow button once, until you see the minutes blinking. When you have the minutes blinking, using the minus or the plus button, you can actuate the minutes to the correct time of day. Right now here, it's 10.15 in the morning. Pressing the right arrow button again allows you to set the day of the week. Notice that the water drop is blinking under Monday. Because today is Tuesday, what we're going to do is we're going to press it the plus minus once, which moves the water drop to Tuesday. At this point, the time is set for 10.14 a.m. on Tuesday. If we're satisfied that the time is correct, press the function button or the U-turn button once. As you can see, the time stopped blinking. Again, similar to a digital clock, we're all set. Our next step is to set the duration or the length of time that irrigation will run. To do that, we're going to be setting or pressing the function button once. Again, that's the U-turn button. You will see that the default time that's set is 0 hours, 5 minutes. If we want to set the irrigation to run for 1 hour and 30 minutes, the first thing we will do is we will press the plus button once. That gives us 1 hour. We will press the next button, or the right arrow button once. The minutes will begin blinking, and in using the plus or minus buttons, we will be able to set the number of minutes. Let's go up to 30 minutes. As you can see, holding down the button accelerates the pace for changing the minutes. Or you can just press the buttons as many times as you want until you get to the correct setting. Right now, we're set at 1 hour, 30 minutes. Pressing the function button accepts 1 hour and 30 minutes and moves to the days of irrigation. The days of irrigation which are available, of course, are Monday all the way through Sunday. And there are labels at the top of the screen that show us the letters for the day of the week. We will be pressing the set button, which is the right arrow button once. You'll notice that the water droplets begins to blink underneath the letter M for Monday. If we want to irrigate on Monday, we will accept it by pressing the plus button. As soon as we press the plus button, the water droplet under Monday becomes solid. It then begins to blink under Tuesday. If we want to irrigate on Tuesday, we will press the plus button. If we want to skip Tuesday but go to Wednesday, simply press the minus button once and you will notice that the water droplets begins to blink under Wednesday. If we want to water on Wednesday, press the plus button. Again, we can choose any day of the week, including every day of the week, by pressing the plus or the minus button. Once we are satisfied with our programming for days of irrigation, simply press the U-turn button once, and that allows us to begin setting the start times. The TGN hose has as many as four start times per day. As soon as we enter the start mode, we will notice that the off uh, icon is blinking on and off on the screen. This is an indication that start time number one is not currently active. The only way for the controller itself to be able to have active start times would be actually to set a time in which this will take place. To set a time, the first thing we will need to do is press either the plus or the minus. As soon as we press the plus and the minus button, the time and day is going to start blinking on the screen. Let's just assume that we want to start irrigation at 6 a.m. in the morning. All we have to do is use the plus button until we get to 6 a.m. in the morning for start time num number one. When we're satisfied that start time number one is, six, is set for 6 a.m., we're ready to proceed to start time number two. Pressing the, the U-turn button, pressing the U-turn button allows us to get into start time number two. By pressing the minus button, we got to 11 a.m. By pressing the plus button, we're going to get to 12 a.m. Now we can set the correct time of day for irrigation. Start time number one was set for 6 a.m., we're going to set start time number 2 for 9 a.m. Simply press and hold the button, the plus button, up until you get to 9 a.m. You can follow the same procedure for setting starts number 3 as well as number 4. And certainly there is no requirement to use all four start times. You can certainly only have one start time per day, two start times per day, or you can use all four. If you're satisfied that two start times per day will be sufficient, Press the, the function button once to get to start time number three. Press the function button again to get to start time number four. And then last but not least, press the, start, the function button one more time and programming is complete. 
Let's review to make sure that we understand how it is that we program the TGN hose timer today. The first step was to set the time of day as well as day of the week. Pressing the U-turn button once gets us into duration. The duration that we set today was 1 hour and 30 minutes. Pressing the U-turn button again allows us to see what days of the week we're irrigating. The setting today has been set for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Pressing the U-turn button one more time lets us see that we have set start time number one for 6 a.m. U-turn button again, start time number two for 9 a.m. Pressing the U-turn button again gives us start time number three, which is off. One more press of the U-turn button gives us start time number four, which is off. This controller is going to irrigate four times per week for a duration of one hour, 30 minutes, and it will irrigate twice per day, once at 6 a.m. and once at 9 a.m.